Okay guys, it's been a week since I had my uh, tote full of maple firewood in this uh, makeshift firewood solar kiln, uh, which is a glorified wooden frame with four mil plastic wrapped around it. Uh, a lot of comments, so I appreciate all the views and all the uh, guys who've been commenting, trying to help me through this process. And I think I'm ready to uh, end the test after one week. So it's been exactly one week since I've had the firewood in this. Uh, and I've also had the same um, basket beside uh, sitting out in the sun. So I'm gonna do a, a test right now. This is Monday morning and lots of condensation, lots of droplets dripping down to the bottom. I think tonight or tomorrow I'm going to pull it off and do a moisture check on a couple pieces to see how it looks. But I don't know. It's going to be 90 here in western Pennsylvania today, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, you know what it does today how much condensation is really dripping down so so this is the regular wood that's been sitting out in the weather and you can see there is there is some some air movement at the top a little bit that's when I tap, tap it and then there's it's kind of flap at the bottom here So, we'll see. Okay, so this is Monday night. I'm just gonna test the wood right on top here. That says 16 on the top. 16.9. Now let's crack one open. Inside temperature still, now it's 26. Twenty-seven. Still twenty-seven. So a lot of condensation on the outside at the top. Uh, it's kind of too early to tell if it's working or not. So stay tuned. You can feel the feel the heat <coughs> coming off, but I also think there's a lot of moisture still in this wood. I'm at 37 percent. 36, 35 to 37 percent on the inside and then 29 on the outside. Here's a piece that I just picked up. Look how damp it is. Let me split another one. Twenty nine percent, thirty five percent. Just look at the wood there, look how moist it looks. And I think what that's from is all the condensation dripping down off the top 
it's not able to escape. So um, I did see a lot of condensation drip down the sides and then uh, out the bottom. But um, I think this solar kiln did more harm than good. But we are going to split open some maple here that were not exposed to the kiln and see uh, what that's like there. So hang tight here. That piece is reading 30. 31 on the inside, outside, 22. So this small piece on the outside, 21. This is uh, 16. And as you can see, uh, this wood doesn't seem as damp. Uh, this wood I can feel in the kiln it's kind of radiating heat but it's very soaked with moisture um, so i'm going to put this test to bed the wood in the kiln and the humidity has grown by at least i'd say five to ten percent and the firewood to the left the percentage of moisture is going down um, but we've got record temps this week we've got 90s and high humidity so any firewood in this condition will not season well just because of the weather right now so so i do have an idea for part two of this solar kiln um and you're gonna have to stay tuned and uh, see what i come up with next week i'm gonna say wednesday thursday i should have a video out with uh, solar kiln part two so i've learned from some uh, comments on the channel learned from this experience uh, of doing this test and I've got some ideas to maybe even alter that frame uh, to pull moisture out. So you're going to have to stay tuned. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. I am maybe 10 to 20 subscribers away from 2,000. So please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. And uh, throw me out a thumbs up if you like this test. Um, there's going to be more firewood videos, more uh, firewood drying testing videos to come so stay tuned with me this summer and uh, we're going to learn together. This is all new to me so I'm learning as I go and using YouTube and, and the viewers like yourself uh, and given an opportunity to learn from each other so um, I don't mind doing tests like this and failing because somebody's going to learn from this video and make this better and then actually get it to, to, to work and to dry firewood quicker so that's all I got for you today. Thank you and have a great evening.